Hi, I'm Lee Weiss, Director of Graduate Programs at Kaplan Test Prep and a longtime GRE instructor. And I want to answer some questions that have come in from our current students, prospective students, followers on Facebook and Twitter uh, at Kaplan Grad Prep. And uh, here are two questions that we hear quite a bit. First one is, if I'm not good at math, will the calculator save me? So we have a lot of math-phobic students out there. If you think about college students and folks who have been out of college for, a lo uh, for several years or for even longer than that, you know, math is not something that's part of our everyday life, especially the type of GRE math that you might be doing where you need to analyze charts and graphs. You might need to look at standard deviations or combinatorics or uh, breaking down multiple figures. And the thing is, it's great to have this calculator. So there is a four-function calculator that's built into the interface. Uh, you can do square roots with it. It keeps order of operation for you. And it's really nice for doing computation. The issue is that the GRE is not really a test of computation. It's a test of quantitative reasoning on the math side. So you need to be able to break down problems to their essence. You need to be able to do the multiple steps involved with solving a problem. And the calculator will help you. It'll help you if you know how to solve a question. But if you just don't know how to break in and reason through a question, the calculator is not going to help you at all. So it's a nice to have. Uh, it's good for the computation between steps, but it is not going to get you very many points on the test day. And what you need to do is build up your core foundational skills. And we have a great course called Math Refresher that a lot of students take to do that and get comfortable with the math again that they need for the GRE. But what you really want to be doing is, for several months, preparing, getting used to order of operations, getting used to uh, core math skills, geometry, standard deviation, all the core skills that you need to then be able to attack the strategy for the math sections of the GRE. Next question, if I'm really strong at math, do I need to study for the GRE quant? And this is a great question, too, because there are lots of folks who take the GRE who are studied engineering undergraduate who might have worked for several years at an investment bank and are really comfortable with numbers and are excellent math students. And even those students need to study for the GRE because you're taking this test under time conditions. You're doing a type of math that you might not necessarily be seeing every day, even if you're very good at math. And especially if you're applying to graduate programs in business, in engineering, in the sciences, in mathematics, you're going to be facing some very, very stiff competition. The average scores at top uh, programs in math fields is very close to a perfect score. It's often in the high 160s, very close to 170, which is the best math score that you can get. So you're going to be facing stiff competition there. And it's really important, even if you are a talented math student, to get comfortable with GRE math and to get really good at it. And we have an advanced math course that uh, advanced students seem to love. And it's something that helps them really make sure that they're taking their talents and are applying them to the best of their advantage to really ace the GRE quantitative reasoning.